Numerous planets, numbering in the thousands, have been found circling stars outside of our own solar system. In fact, it is estimated that the Milky Way alone contains hundreds of billions of planets, many of them presumably rocky, Earth-like worlds harboring life. Sometimes referred to as the Planet Hunter, NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS, is a satellite observatory used for the express purpose of seeking out exoplanets. However, none has shown as much promise as the newly discovered planet TOI 700e. What makes this planet so special? How soon can humans start exploring it? You don't want to be the last to find out about our next possible home, so make sure you stick around until the end so you don't miss a thing. Why are we interested in finding exoplanets? One of our biggest concerns of all time is whether there is life outside of Earth. Our study of exoplanets may help us discover advanced life forms and prove to us once and for all that we are not alone in the universe. Or maybe they'll help us better understand our own beginning and our inevitable end. Or perhaps the test mission just satisfies our endless human curiosity and our love for discovery. Whatever the reason, our constant search brings us one step closer each day to finding answers. Whether the answer shows us a galaxy teeming with life, one where life is scarce and vulnerable, or one where there is no life at all, it will surely transform us forever and provide crucial information about our place in the cosmos. The ultimate objective of NASA's exoplanet program is to discover undeniable evidence of life. Such indicators may be present in the space around these exoplanets, ready to be discovered by carefully examining the atmospheres of these worlds outside of our own solar system. Using transmission spectroscopy, a method of analyzing starlight that passes through the atmosphere of a far-off planet, produces an effect that resembles a sort of barcode. We can deduce which components of the extraterrestrial atmosphere are present by noting the missing portions of the light spectrum. Depending on the arrangement of dark spaces in that barcode, we might note the presence of methane or oxygen, or maybe CO2, or even water vapor. The unique barcode or spectral signature of each exoplanet we discover can offer either convincing proof that life exists or the absolute impossibility of it. We know that a world would need water in order to support life, but it may not resemble Earth in any other way. What is certain is that the planet would have to be in the habitable zone of the star it circles, which is the region where it is neither too near nor too distant from its parent star. This well-defined region is also known as the Goldilocks zone, because when it comes to the possibility of liquid water, conditions are neither too hot nor too cold, but rather just right. On April 18th, 2018, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, was launched on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. TESS, or as we like to call it, the Planet Hunter, is key to our search for planets beyond our solar system. Astronomers now believe that there may be more planets than stars, since many exoplanets are discovered each year. By searching the whole sky for planets circling nearby brilliant stars, TESS attempts to prove their theory true. While its predecessor, Kepler, concentrated on a specific and comparatively small area of the sky, TESS is designed to survey an area 400 times larger. For that, the TESS catalog contains many objects of interest missing from the Kepler catalog, such as low-mass red stars known as M-dwarfs. TESS observes broad regions of the sky, referred to as sectors, for around 27 days at a time. These prolonged observation periods enable the satellite to monitor variations in stellar brightness brought on by transit, a stellar occurrence that happens when a planet passes in front of the observed parent star. TESS uses four cameras to scan the sky, gathering starlight in repeated swaths of 24 degrees by 90 degrees. These cameras operate in two modes. Firstly, by taking two-minute exposures of the 200,000 brightest stars in the sky, 
and secondly, by taking 30-minute exposures of each visible star. To help astronomers, this massive volume of data necessitates using sophisticated statistical methods and the automated processing technology known as machine learning. TESS discovers planets in the same way that Kepler did. When an observed planet crosses in front of its host star from our vantage point, it blocks a little portion of that host star's light. From that simple transit, the planet's diameter and the size of its orbit can be determined. And then from that orbit, scientists can deduce if that Earth-like world is in the habitable zone, where liquid water might exist on its surface. Seeking out these potentially livable worlds is of special interest to TESS researchers, who are trying to find an answer to the question of how widespread life is throughout the cosmos. A lot of information on the stars themselves is also made available by TESS, including crucial information on star sizes, star spots, and other stellar characteristics. This advances our knowledge of stellar structure and evolution, and the characterization of exoplanets circling those stars. Pi Mensae C, the first planet discovered on this expedition, orbits the naked eye southern hemisphere star Pi Mensae every six days. It is a super Earth, four and a half times our mass and twice our size. Another incredible find by TESS was TOI 700D, an Earth-sized planet that orbits in its red dwarf host star's habitable zone where the circumstances are favorable for sustaining liquid water on its surface. And just when you think things couldn't get any better, TESS finds TOI 700E. With the most recent data from TESS, scientists have discovered a planet that is likely rocky, just like us, and that is just slightly smaller than Earth, about 95% our size. TOI 700E orbits inside the habitable zone of its star, meaning that liquid water on its surface is a strong possibility. Along with its sister planets, TOI 700B, C, and D, it is one of the four planets that revolves around its parent star, TOI 700. Classified as a red dwarf M-type star, TOI 700 may be found in the southern constellation Dorado at a distance from Earth of around 100 light years. As a red dwarf, this parent star is far redder, dimmer, and cooler than our own Sun. The innermost planet of the star system, TOI 700b, circles the star every 10 days and is nearly 90% the size of Earth. The orbit of TOI 700c, which is more than two and a half times larger than Earth, lasts 16 days. The planets are tidally locked, meaning they rotate just once per orbit, such that one side always faces their star, much as one side of the moon always faces Earth. Oddly enough, the newly discovered TOI 700e, which is also tidally locked and takes 27.8 days to orbit its star, lies between planets C and D. Yes, we know, a bit of a naming problem. You would think that scientists at NASA should know the order of the alphabet. At least they apologized for it. Even though planet E lies between C and D, it was discovered a full year after TESS had already discovered TOI 700C and TOI 700D. According to astrophysicist Ben Hoard from the University of Maryland, if the star was a bit closer, or the planet was a little bigger, we could have been able to discover TOI 700e in the first year of TESS data. However, the signal was so weak that scientists needed an extra year of transit observations in order to locate it. The number of planets in habitable zones that potentially support human existence is continually growing. As TESS looks for more planetary systems in the cosmos, researchers are planning to follow up on the exciting TOI 700 system in hopes of finding more information about its creation, composition, and evolution. Even if these Goldilocks planets aren't precisely ideal for supporting life, they can nonetheless help us locate star systems that could be more suitable. And at the very least, studying these novel star systems only help astronomers to better understand the birth, development, and future of our own solar system. 
With more than 5,000 exoplanets already discovered, TOI 700e proves that we have a lot more to learn about ourselves, our planet, our solar system, and our universe. Why are you interested in learning about space and other planets? Let us know in the comments.